Greetings, it is I, Susie Q. I'm working with quantum healing hypnosis technique, and I've been a practitioner, a level two practitioner, um, maybe for two or three years. I can't even remember, you know, so it's been extraordinary. I've had a lot of people come in for sessions with me, and they are, sometimes they come in and they have questions. Maybe they've got a whole written piece, and some people don't even give me any guidance, especially with the subconscious mind. But um, it's been kind of fun to just see what, 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 when people come into the front of the you know front door and I open up the door and they're kind of they're really kind of scared you know because it's just, and this house is kind of small too right you know but then eventually they would come in but they didn't really know what to say or do I think they were all kind of freaked out and sometimes I get freaked out because I don't even know who these people are I'm just bringing them in and we do um, these experiences so when they first come in you know when they come into the house we have a very small hallway and they just stand there you know they don't they're kind of scared and freaked out i'm kind of freaked out like i said i'm kind of freaked out too because like who are these people right um but it's been really kind of fun to have them come in and then eventually we go into the living room and we get to talk 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 you know you could talk about you know little you or maybe when you were a little bit older what was your mom like what was your dad like what were your parents like what were your siblings what were they doing what was going on so you could go through all of these stories but what I really think about that is that if you can remember your first memory you know your first memory of you know being in this beautiful school of thought and the one I thought for myself was for some reason I don't know if this is true or not for me but I think I m might have um, I think somebody might have dropped me when I was a baby because <laughs> I, I had this like one little thing right here um, and it was just kind of like a some sort of a a boo-boo I don't even know but I think it was when I was a really little girl I'm not sure if that's true or not but that's kind of what I had you know kind of reconciled with maybe somebody dropped the baby <laughs> but I'm still kind of okay right all right so but yeah, you can look at all of these experiences, you know, things with your relationships, again, like your family and your friends and all of the people that you love and some people that you don't want to love, you know, and then you might go into the capacity for um, a little bit of abundance or prosperity or um, good stuff coming through, right? You know, and then you start working with the body. And so when we work with the body, that is my favorite, beautiful space of consciousness because it's really interesting when we start noticing different things within the body and some boo-boos in the body and so all of this has been um, a beautiful path of energy for me to help another person to support their body their relationships and their manifestation and also with their prosperity all of that is there now sometimes people don't really like you know, they're not really in that vibe you know prosperity abundance you know relationships and healing but it but after a while once they start listening and we start kind of getting a little bit more guidance through the hypnosis piece I think a lot of things are kind of coming through in a beautiful way so all of these experiences that I've been doing for a number of years it's super fun I love doing this work so kind of this is what it would look like when they first come in we're in the living room and we we could sit there for maybe an hour or five hours with an interview and people say what that's so long but when we're in this energy it's totally different it's not like the regular time that we have but it's just really condensed and really uh, spectacular and some people say god I don't I don't really have anything to say well did you bring any questions I didn't bring any questions you know but you start kind of like kind of looking at you know I could kind of give them a few prompts and then they would start going they would start saying whatever they needed to say I don't take any notes I just actively listen and I just kind of wait to see what else will be happening with this conversation so sometimes they may have some notes they may have some questions but we don't want to do the questions right there when you go into the the living room we just want them to just talk about their lives with their stories or sometimes people come in and at the end of the session they just said I just had cancer 
And they didn't even say anything about that. <laughs> maybe that's a good thing because maybe it's over. Maybe they don't want to talk about it anymore. But sometimes people come in with, with heart, uh, can, you know, heart stuff going on and cancer and these different kinds of experiences that are not the best. But then maybe maybe that's they were just simply came, coming here to release some of that energy and bring up more of that beautiful light energy, that beautiful light body experience. And so you could be there again like I said it could be a one hour but you know Dolores Cannon said keep them talking keep on talking people and then they might start kind of going into more stories and I'm fine with stories you know and for me it's pretty um it's pretty passive for me. I'm just actively listening. And if they don't have anything, I might say something else like what then what happened or what what, what, what was going on or anything like that. Um, but that is extraordinary. So it could be to one, it's usually about three to five hours of a, a beautiful experience at the at, in the living room. And that's where they we're just talking, 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 talking about our families, our friends and our things, our cats and our dogs or cousins or anything, or people that you know, or people who passed or people ready to go to recede. Um, all of that has been um, really extraordinary. I love doing the interview. It's super fun. Then we come into the day bed, you know, people go like, oh, God, there's a day bed. <laughs> <laughs> but there is a day bed here, you know. And so what we get the person really comfy cozy. And um, most of them are, you know, feeling okay to be on the day bed. It's kind of cozy, you know, it's not it's not the best, but it's kind of cozy, right? And then um, I get them all tucked in um, with a blanket so that they can be supported and feel safe. And so that's been really, really um, wonderful to do that. And sometimes you might start kind of like, you know, are you comfortable? But after I put them on the day bed and put the blanket on them, I don't touch them them at all it's just completely uh, off base right we don't we don't want to do any we don't want to touch them uh, during the hypnosis session so when we first go into the day bed person's there got a nice blanket nice pillow and then we go into what we call an induction and that is a meditative state that kind of brings in new things so you can have images you could start using your hearing you can go into different sites you could do all kinds of different things but it's a process to get a person to feel um, supported and feeling that beautiful energy of, of goodness and it's been extraordinarily wonderful for me to experience some of these things then you might go to a beautiful place you know this is part of the induction so you know before that we had to go into a lot of like you know, flowing energies to start moving into what we call uh, that beautiful place and some people that you know go into a beautiful place a lot of times they're just by themselves they might be um, kind of a, on a beach or a shore or something and they just looking at the water just looking at the sky maybe there's clouds or maybe um, there's nothing else it's just you with the sand and your toes and you know you might look around is there anybody around with you and there's like nobody there but it's just this beautiful place it's just kind of like it's like oh my god it just feels so it feels so wonderful and so joyful and so we get a little bit more guidance from imagery maybe some sights maybe some things from hearing or maybe some things from listening all of these things um, are are part of the beginning of what we call QHHT but this is the induction and we then we might go into a different place we might go to a place where there's there's a cloud there's maybe a cloud there and you might want to go up to the cloud and look down at the cloud you might want to be on that cloud and just you know just kind of be looking around see what's going on is, is she still on the beach is she still someplace else you know and you start getting a little bit more guidance from that as well so it's been really uh, extraordinary when they have some really unique experiences and so once you're on that cloud you might decide to go into what we call the very beginning of the first hour of hypnosis and I love I love all this material it's so fun I'm really enjoying the experiences with with the first hour of hypnosis and so we go into an experience and see if a person is really available to maybe kind of kind of go into maybe a past life 
Past lives are fantastic. And what's really happening is it could be the whole duration of a lifetime of a person. And it could be, you know, something that was really awesome or really a tragedy. It could be anything like that. But we just start noticing and getting some tendencies of, I think there's something else that's going on, you know. And so all of that has been really supporting me to kind of discern what would be best for the person on the daybed. And so it could be the progression of a person's life and you know through all their life stories and all of that and the main thing that we really want to focus on is really about um, when a person is ready to to leave from this earthly school and when we get that guidance from the earthly school is that we just kind of discern like like what lesson would this be in this lifetime or what is the divine purpose of this person so all of this energy that we're working with right now is supporting us to give the guidance for the person on the daybed if we get any guidance from a person who's already passed then we can start kind of like um, reconciling what happened with the death you might want to take a look at that a little bit or maybe you just want to uh, get a few words about what happened when that person past it could be and a lot of times when, when the, we're looking with divine purpose and divine um, lessons um, they're they're very simple uh, maybe uh, questions or experiences it could be you know it was it was a good life or maybe um, it was it, I could have done better it could be something like that and then you might just start ask a few other questions and then you might get some guidance so when you get that divine purpose and divine lesson we start getting a little bit more guidance from the person that's on the day bed so I'm just kind of going through a little bit quick right um, but that has been really extraordinary so we could go into one past life and we can complete with that and then we might jump into another past life and see if we can get something else so all of these things are here for the person that can, comes into QHHT. And then we start getting, again, that more of the guidance with divine purpose, divine lessons. All of that is extraordinary. The second hour of you know hypnosis is uh, the subconscious. And that is my free, fun space. I love that. I love the subconscious. Sometimes people give me questions. Um, we don't do it at the interview, but if they have questions, um, um, and they have it just written down, then I can go ahead and work with the subconscious and see if we can clear some things. So a lot of the work that I do is pretty, um, we go pretty fast because one hour of hypnosis is, you have to go really, really quick because there's a lot of questions. There's a lot of things that we can do. So sometimes I do some of the things that they're asking for. If they have any questions, I might go down their questions and see if we can clear some things from the subconscious mind. And so when the subconscious mind is, it's the person on the daybed, and it's really called the subconscious, but it's the person on the daybed that has the subconscious. And sometimes I just say, hey, SC, can we just call you SC? And so SC is like, you know, a little bit easier to, um, to reconcile with. So, but that has been really extraordinary. If they have a lot of questions we can you know slice and dice and, and clear things and we've done all kinds of different things on sub with the subconscious piece and people are you know are ready for more experiences sometimes they don't have much to say or maybe in they're really in a different space you know a different kind of state of consciousness um, but sometimes I could do you know I could ask them do would you like to do a clearing of your body or do you want to do have a surrogate with you do you need to go to another family member and we can work with them as well. So we were doing all these, we we're kind of going all over the place uh, and getting more experiences for other people, not just the person on the day bed. So all of this has been really solid. I have absolutely loved doing this. And I, you know, when I was a little bit younger, I was at about, about in 2016, I wanted to start doing that. And then I forgot about it, you know? And so I went back and I, you know, saw it online and I was like, oh, I was almost going to do the QHHT. So all of this energy that we're working with is really, really strong and powerful. Well, now I'm pretty, a pretty a big agent of change. So when I'm on the subconscious piece, working with the 
SC. I'm really kind of going for it for the person on the daybed. They can ask questions. They can say what's going on or what is happening. Most of the time when the energy is really moving really, really quick, high frequencies, they're going to be kind of quiet, you know. So then sometimes I might say, would you like to do a little bit of clearing uh, maybe in your brain and your cellular structures or any part of your body? You could do any kind of clearing. So when you're working with a you know, SC, we can kind of do all kinds of different things. And I think that would be fantastic. And then again, we keep moving really, really fast because the SC is really kind of like the... Um, the big dog right you know for me it's kind of like that but i see all kinds of cool stuff going on you know with the subconscious and i love kind of clearing people with different things in the organs i've got all kinds of uh, information if they don't if they don't want to talk too much sometimes they're kind of in a different you know quiet state then I have all of these things about the systems of the bodies and all these different uh, things, the organs and all of the structures of the body. I could go into that and then we can ask SC, you know, how's the heart? You could say yes or no, but usually you say, well, let's go ahead and clear it. You know, let's go ahead and clear it. Let's bring it in. Sometimes they're kind of at the, you know, I work first at the brain um, to see if we can get any more guidance. And sometimes people have, have a little pause. They have to wait for a while until all of that has been cleared. So we kind of go down through the body if a person is not really totally they're kind of in an awakened state but they're real quiet so we kind of have to nudge them a little bit but then we start kind of clearing some things from the body so for myself I'm really all about the body the holistic practices of the uh, beautiful energies that we are we're working with I absolutely love and adore that so so after that we've done all those all these different things uh, with the SC and we're getting all kinds of guidance and we're getting more clarity and more understanding about your physical uh, your physical uh, vehicle which is your body right all right then we go into uh, kind of closing out the session it's been a great time you know it's been a great time it's then you have to kind of meditate out and bring the person back in to sit up and eventually you sometimes when they when it's kind of over you know that's already over you start noticing like god they, they just they just they just want to just keep laying on the day bed. And that is perfectly okay because they did really well. You know, the people that come in, they're just doing very, very well. We've had so many people coming in. We've had actors. We've had a person that was on the Food Network. We've had um, all kinds of different people, other, other doctors coming in. We, then we come in with all these like friends and all of these things. So it's been a, a really uh, a fun time to kind of go over some of these details. I've got a bunch of videos about YouTube on YouTube related to every system, you know, with the, the interview, um, the induction and the past life and then the SC and then clear and then clearing, you know, but I love clearing things. I love creating new things for people and I love to, to kind of like release some things that maybe they don't need anymore and it's really up to them do they do they want to hold on to things too much or, or is, is it okay for them to um, just let some things go because right now we got a lot of we got a lot of stuff going forward you know we got a lot really a lot of cool stuff going forward so we'll see you soon and a uh, namaste <laughs>